but they said it's bumper to bumper. This is the same experience, Mr. Pitts, you would have as buying a brand new Rover. Signed up, bought it. He said, we're gonna send your Rover over to have it detailed. I said, no, there's no sense in cleaning it up yet. And I showed him the driver's side fairing. I said, see that scratch on it? He goes, yeah. I said, I need that replaced. Well, you're gonna put one new fairing on it while all the other ones have faded. So now it's going like I have a wreck Rover. In the back seat, it had an indention. They ordered me a new back seat for it. They put that stupid tire cover on the back. So I tore that off on the spot. Put a Land Rover sticker on the back of it, and it was crooked. I said, you better pray on all things holy that you do not scratch this thing removing your decal off the back of my Rover. Well, as he pulled out, there was a puddle of antifreeze under it. Did that come out of my Rover? Surely not. They put me a new water pump on it. They went ahead and put me a, valve, a set of valve cover gaskets on it because I thought I smelled oil. Anyway, I got my Rover and I was dating a girl at the time who was very tall and I actually sold it to her and she's still driving that car to this day, which is a small miracle in itself because it is a Rover.